Hello and welcome to this short video detailing exactly what materials and equipment your child should have at home to be successful with their maths revision. So we'll start with the basics, a pen, pencil and a ruler. And to go along with that they should also have a rubber and pencil sharpener. In maths we tend to always draw our diagrams in pencil so that we can rub it out if we make mistakes. Now to go along with this basic stationery, there are two math specific bits of stationery that they should also have. And that is a protractor from 0 to 180 degrees for measuring angles. And then also a pair of compasses, which is useful for all the construction work that they might do in their GCSE. So these are the two math specific bits. Now to go along with the stationery then, a good calculator is also essential. Now for GCSE level, um, a scientific calculator um, is ideal. And if you go with the brand of Casio, as a general rule, you're not going to go wrong with the quality of calculator that you buy. This is a relatively um, older model of the Casio now, but it's still perfectly fine for your GCSE exam. There is a slightly newer model now if you look in the supermarkets. It's essential that you know how to reset your calculator. Uh, because often if you just mess around pressing all the buttons, you might set it into a mode that you don't want. So in this particular model, it's shift, nine, three, then equals, will reset it to its factory defaults. Okay, so that's all the stationery and equipment that your child will need. In terms of um, writing down revision, they should have a, a, a good stock of plain A4 paper for writing notes. And then also some one centimeter square paper is really useful all the time. And if they're drawing graphs, then some smaller one millimeter graph paper is ideal as well. And then the final type of paper that they should have at home is tracing paper, which is useful for rotations, uh, reflections and any of the transformations. Now, a quick tip, if you can't get your hands on tracing paper, you've probably got some grease proof paper at home in your baking supplies of your kitchen, which is useful, which is perfectly usable as tracing paper as well. In terms of any of this, this equipment, especially the paper, the chances are if you ask your maths teacher, if you're struggling to find any of the graph paper or whatever, I'm sure they wouldn't mind parting with a few sheets. So there we have it. Your basic stationery, your protractor and your compass, a decent scientific calculator, and then a stack of specialist papers. One centimetre square, uh, one millimetre square, and then some tracing paper.